Well, tonight I've got the uh, fundraiser for the Lamont uh, Minor Hockey. I haven't been back to Lamont for as many years as I can remember, but the more, more significant part about Lamont is that 20 years ago I was teaching school there. It was actually the last place that I had taught school, taught for a couple years. I had my first job opportunity there as well as I had my last year of teaching there. And while I was teaching there, I actually started to do hypnosis, started to perform hypnosis, did a, a bunch of shows out there, fundraisers, and super excited in regards to now it's 20 years, it's come full circle. I've uh, done this for the last 20 years full time doing my hypnosis show and my motivational presentations. And so now I'm back there in Lamont. I'm at the uh, community hall there and I have no idea exactly who's gonna be there, but I'm sure there'll be people that uh, I taught maybe some of the teachers that I taught with. And so it's, it's gonna be um, interesting to see who's there and the show is gonna be, gonna be a ton of fun. 20 years ago when I was teaching, uh, the, the class that I taught at was the Integrated Occupational Program. Lots of kids that had challenges and I remember you know, uh, connecting with the kids, uh, having some challenges being a teacher and then doing this. And, I know along the way, like some of the kids had reached out, I'd seen them and they'd said, you know, you made a difference in my life, which is, which is a good feeling. I mean, I think that everybody takes responsibility, but to know that I've had some sense of influence and maybe inspiration, great. And from the get-go, when I started doing my shows, my whole focus was not only to entertain, but to educate people. Underneath it all, I mean, I, I've always wanted to, and I've always been attracted to uh, personal development, motivation, and so along the way, I started to pull out more of a message, started to work with more companies, started to work with more corporate groups. And it was, it was neat that one, I was still getting people to laugh, have fun, but then being able to pull out some sort of value for these people of, hmm, I do see this more as more than just entertainment. I see it as that there, there's some valuable, tangible tips and techniques that they could use um, to help better their lives in terms of achieving goals, reducing stress, and ultimately for people to perform better, to be more productive in their workplace. This is a completely uh, different show altogether in regards to the whole feel of going back to Lamont, the place that I started teaching and the place where I finished up teaching and all the, the students that I met, the, the people that I connected with. I'm going back there for a fundraiser today. It's nostalgic. That would be the best word is that it's come full circle. The one fellow that stands out that I got to tell you is when I was teaching at Lamont, he was a bus driver there. His name's Tom. And I remember him like it was yesterday because he was one of the first people I hypnotized in the staff party, in the staff Christmas party in Lamont. This is, you know, obviously gave me that time to practice my skills and he was the funny one of the funniest guys hands down to this day I still think of him being one of the funniest guys on my stage and I am driven if he's there tonight to get him up on stage almost like a reunion of uh, deja vu like this is playing out again so um, I can only I can only uh, imagine what it will be like tonight with him on stage Hi Josie, it is Wayne Lee calling. Just on our way out to uh, Lamont. We should be there in about 40 minutes, um, about 5.15, and then we will uh, be able to do a sound check and make, every, make sure everything's set up. Looking forward to tonight. We will talk to you soon. You know what this really gets me thinking about is how time has flown by. I can go back there in my mind in regards to those days that are out there and I see it very clearly very vividly and being in the classroom teaching and then and then doing all these things all these shows following what I love to do and now thinking about what do the next 20 years look like and how quick that's gone by it actually it's motivating to to kind of go forward and think of what do I want to do over the next 20 years and some of my goals and the things that I want to accomplish and kind of taking it to the next level whatever that is for me and in that time, like I've learned so much about what I'm doing on stage and what works and what doesn't. So if I was to look at my shows back then, 
until now, I mean, there's a world of difference. I mean, just putting in all that stage time and how that's improved. Uh, the one thing that stays consistent is my love of it. I mean, the passion of it. Why doesn't it get old for me or why doesn't it get boring? And there's a few reasons that come to mind. Like one, first of all, I love to make people laugh. I love the element of getting people out of their comfort zone. Um, you know, I, with the delivery method of the so-called hypnosis that I use, there's a lot of skepticism or people think of what that really is. But just the aspect of doing something so fascinating, which is the hypnosis element, and getting people to laugh. So there's always different reactions from the people in the audience. And it's almost like an addiction to get people laughing and knowing that I had something to do with that. So each time I'm out there, it's a different crowd, different laughter. And then to uh, overlap or stack on that, the people that come up on stage, whether I'm doing my presentation or my performance, the people are always different. So even though the routines stay the same, there are always different reactions. So getting somebody to dance as if they're the greatest dancer in the world, you're always going to get different reactions because of the different personalities. So I'm always anticipating what does that look like and um, that has a significant part of getting the other people in the audience to laugh. So that, that never gets tired for me. It just it, it, It's something I always look forward to. The other thing is, is always wanting to improve, always wanting to tweak things and polish things. I've wanted to master the show. I wanted to become that person that takes it to a point where in 60 minutes, it is so tight, it is so, uh, so much fun that people come up to me and they say, you know, when I'd seen you 15 years ago, and it was funny, but there was just something about tonight that it just, it was more than funny. It was, it was exceptional. It was the best I've ever seen. And even though they can't pinpoint what exactly that is, I really believe it just comes down to me keep doing that, that the stage time and getting better and, and intentionally thinking, how can I make it better? How can I look at um, comedians? How can I look at other entertainers to see what good comedy is and to put it in the show? So to me, that's why I feel like it's, I'm just getting started because I'm continually refining it to get it to the next level and to produce more for other people um, whether it be at a fundraiser or a corporate event, doesn't matter. Um, wherever it is, I love to do it. So I gotta tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute pleasure to be back here in Lamont. Uh, but it is full circle because it was 20 years ago that I was teaching just over here. So we will definitely have some fun. Again, it is a pleasure to be back here. Uh, the only thing I'll need besides your wonderful minds and bodies up here, if you've never seen the show, is I will need your energy. It's the key ingredient to having a ton of fun. Tom, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, uh, to get you up on stage only because uh, <laughs> we're going to have so much fun. <laughs> oh, look at this. Get a little closer to Tom. Get a little closer to Tom. Okay. So I know that you could fight this, right, if you wanted to? Oh, my goodness. 20 years. Where did it go? Gone and right back again. <laughs> now, what I'm going to get you to do is take a deep breath in. Tom, do you feel like getting hypnotized? No, not really. <laughs> what I'll get you to do in a moment is just close your eyes. And if you really don't feel like it, then that's your option because I don't want to feel like the guy that pressured you, okay? Or even if you get up there, I'll make sure that you don't think that. <laughs> deep breath in. They're going to get you to close your eyes. Now roll your eyes in the back of your head. Imagine they're crazy glued. It's so crazy glued you can't open them now. When I tap you on the forehead this time, you melt and you go back into a state of complete relaxation. The person behind you is going to catch you. Do you understand, Tom? Yes. Three, two, one. Sleep. <laughs> Tom, on the count of three, be wide awake. Upon awakening, you feel great, you feel awesome, you don't think you're hypnotized. Uh, however, in any time I give you a suggestion, you sleep and you feel like it's the best feeling you've ever felt like, uh, that you've ever had. You feel fantastic, amazing, and you'll be quite a superstar on stage tonight. One, two, three. <laughs> Tom. Hey, so we got people up here. You see how this is all working? Yeah. You remember 20 years what happened to you? You got hypnotized like that? Yeah. Did you do it again tonight? No. <laughs> <laughs> Count of three, Tom, you'll be wide awake upon awakening. You can't help it, but you follow me up to the stage and all this applause is for you. One, two, three, eyes open. Come on up, Tom. Come on up, I got a spot for you. Right here, right here. Watch out for Kirby's head. <laughs> S 
sleep. <laughs> sleep, let it go. You're going to feel the best feeling you've ever felt. Say, I've got a hypnotic power. I got a hypnotic power. <laughs> now you look at Dennis and you go, sleep. And he'll, he'll do that. Fonzie. Hey. hey. Now do this. Now. See that. <laughs> so on three, you're going to feel the best feeling you've ever felt times 100. You're going to scream, shout, maybe fist pump. Maybe you're going to have a, a tear down your cheek. Whatever it is, keep your eyes closed so you don't get distracted and you feel as though you've just achieved that goal. You're creating it in your mind first where it all starts. One, you can taste it, touch it, and feel it. Two, keep your eyes closed on this next count. The best feeling you've ever felt, times 100. It happens now. Three. You just did it. Keep your eyes closed, and that feels even better. That feeling is starting to magnify, multiply. Celebrate the success just by feeling every muscle, nerve, and fiber starting to feel even better. So good, in fact. On the count of three, that feeling magnifies a hundred times. One, two, three. And there's a color to that feeling. Just think of the color now. Whatever color comes to mind, lock onto that color. And from this day forward, anytime you think of that color, boom, bam, shazam, you feel so much passion, excitement, and motivation that you'll do one thing every day until you've achieved your dream, your goal, and then you move on to the next. You want more of that feeling? Sure you do. It's the air that you breathe. Reach out, grab some air, and pull it to your heart. Put your hand to your heart and it feels even better. From this day forward, anytime you put your hand to your heart, feel so much passion, excitement, you'll do one thing every day until you've achieved your dream, your goal, and then you move on to the next. Now that you know that to be so very ingrained in your mind, body, heart, and soul, I'm gonna descend the numbers from three to one. You'll melt upon the person next to you. Always to recall that good feel, feeling, excuse me, by thinking of your color and putting your hand to your heart. That will last a lifetime as long as you do it over the next 30 days, a whole lot. Three going down deeper, two going down deeper, one sleep. Deep into relaxation. It is an absolutely, if anyone asks, it's just, I, you can't, I cannot explain to anybody what the feeling is like. Like it is a, a wonderful feeling. And it just brought a, a nice feeling back and uh, peaceful and you feel just great. Like so, I, and I call that a trigger. Yeah. Like it triggered you back into that feeling of, Ah, yeah. relaxation. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and then the color association, that's something that I've done for years and years and years. So, color's red for you. Yeah. Is that something like years ago you even remember? Uh, like it, it is a favorite color. Yeah. A red, and anything red I see, it just, that even someone wearing red, like yeah. you just like, it, I don't know, uh, heartwarming, if you yeah. want to call it, whatever. Yeah. I'm very fond of it. So if we follow up with you, say, down the road, and I'll say, hey, how's the red? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see how that that sticks with you. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that's kind of one of the things which, when I do the presentation, I expand on that, and I talk about it. And it's a simple exercise, but it can be so very powerful because it can be something that somebody uses, and it is obviously something they use for goal achievement, stress reduction. Yeah. Ultimately feeling yeah. good, yeah. yeah, so. And one thing I have to say, Wayne, is like even when you taught at the school, and I looked at this guy, and I have, you could ask Doreen or anything, I said, he ain't gonna be teaching long. Like you're gonna <laughs> do something else out there in the world that is going to entertain people, and this yeah. was your calling. Yeah. And now when I found out that you were a motivation speaker, yeah. I knew you had it, you yeah. would do great at that as well. Well, that means a lot, and thank you, I really appreciate it, because I even remember at that time, like, um, just, you know, going back that many years ago to that, you would say some things like, what are you doing here? And, and, and it was funny, and I can see how that all played out and yeah. what you just said there, it, uh, that means a lot to me in, yeah. in regards to what I follow in my heart. Right? Yeah. Oh, and then cool. when people I meet her and say, they say, hey, Wayne Lee, the hypnotist, have you ever seen him? I <laughs> says, have I ever seen him? I was his first victim ever, yeah. you know, and people go, Really, you were? And I says, yeah. And they say, oh, do you remember when you did this? And do you remember? And no, I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. With the hypnosis, what you have done, and you said anything you set your goal for in life, you could do it. Yeah. And I never look back like I, I 
till today I would never know that I would be, uh, well, as they consider uh, a big businessman. Yeah. I am the second largest employer in Lamont. Hey, 20 years ago I wasn't. I had one little school bus hauling kids to school. Yeah. And now how many do you I'm have? 52. 52. Because since the last time I talked to you, I got another out. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. So we're just keep growing and we would have never expect to be where we are today. Yeah. And I think it has to do with a lot like, you know, we set, I, I tell that to children too, that ride the bus is not, whatever you have on your, your mind and whatever you want to do in life, nothing can hold you back. You could do exactly what you want. Yeah. Just set your goals and go for it. And that's what I have done. And uh, life is good, I, I'm not complaining. Yeah, well, and it's brought us to, I keep using the term full circle, but it comes down to, um, it's not an accident that we're here in this moment right now talking about this. Yeah. Because again, it has to do with, we have that similar belief in nature in regards to going for it, mm -hmm. setting it and going for it. And obviously that has, that's a reflection and, and a result in your life. Yeah. And same thing, I mean, I tell kids, you know, it may sound trite to follow your heart and go for it, mm -hmm. but it's true. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, Thanks. Tom. It was great. Yeah. Welcome back and uh, well, hopefully we'll see you again. <laughs>